A recent study estimated that it could take more than 700 years to clear Ukraine's minefields with the resources it currently has. But new technology brings hope. I'll get this one. Yeah, get this one. Let's get the satellite map down. Two young American scientists are in the final stages of testing a machine learning algorithm that locates mines and UXO without having to endanger human life. The demining web application we've developed is called Spotlight because it's going to find different items from the sky, similar to a spotlight would. The mines are very small and often in high vegetation, it's impossible to see them unless you're standing right over them. The, the good thing about drones is that they're always right over the mines. Meet Jasper Bauer and Gabriel Steinberg. Their years long work and research has led to this application, which can be harnessed with commercially available drones. All you have to do is upload the imagery to the platform and it feeds it through the AI detection. And what the AI detection does is it scans all the images that you've uploaded. It's trained on what the munitions and mines look like, and it will draw boxes and identify them and provide locations as well. So our platform is designed to be very easy to use for the miners and other people, potentially farmers, who have contamination in their field. We traveled to Chernihiv in northern Ukraine, an area occupied by Russia at the start of the war, where the application is being prepped for real-world use. This is a field test for the Spotlight technology on the M42 American cluster munitions that have recently been shipped here and will need to be cleared from Ukrainian land at the end of this war. So this is our last test, so we're trying to break it. Operations Director Fred Polk and software engineer Artem Motonyuk are overseeing this final test. And with the cluster munitions being employed, it's important that the Ukrainians have the possibility of cleaning up after themselves. In addition to unexploded cluster submunitions, the technology can also identify around 100 different kinds of landmines and other ordnance. So now I um, get data from SD card to my computer, uploading the data on Spotlight the application, and then we will have results. How much more effective is this? Oh, it's, it's very eff effective, uh, I guess. It will save a lot, of, a lot of lives. Since this successful test, Spotlight has been used to clear its first active minefield in Ukraine and is ready for deployment pending approval from the Ukrainian authorities. Perhaps this app, dreamed up and tested on the American Great Plains, will save the lives and limbs of Ukrainian civilians.